Hi, I'm Tom Stevens, CEO and co-founder of Tombot, and this is Jenny. Jenny is a fully interactive robotic emotional support animal, and she will be the first to be both an FDA medical device and affordable. This is the Tombot engineering update for October 2021. And before we dig into the details, I just want to remind everyone that Jenny, yes, you are, Jenny is a complicated robotic device. So when you think about Jenny, um, there really are four, four key elements to her. One is she's a consumer electronic device. So think smartphone. So similar processor, similar memory, similar battery type. So all of the things that go into making a smartphone, part of making Jenny as well. She's a realistic robot with motors, linkages, sensors, and, and they don't only really have to function in a basic way, they have to function reliably and allow her to sort of take in her environment, make decisions about what her, is happening in her environment, and then exhibit a behavior, yes, like a real dog would, uh, based, upon, uh, based upon what she understands. Thirdly, she'll be an FDA medical device. So we have to pass all of the necessary safety certifications and be good manufacturing practices or GMP compliant, as well as the international standard of ISO 1345. And then lastly, she's covered with fur, which uh, makes her unlike uh, virtually any other medical device in the world. So it's uh, all of those things have to come together in order for her to successfully make it to market. But when she makes the market, uh, she's, she's, gotta, she's gotta do a few more things. So we are currently in phase one of production engineering. And phase one is high level architectures all for the purposes of making her more robust so she'll survive everyday use. She'll be capable of passing all the safety certifications, not just here in the US, but the key ones around the world. And that should also be efficiently manufacturable at scale. It's, it's not enough that we're able to make one or two or three. We need to be able to make thousands to get all of our robots into our customers' hands. So uh, in terms of status of phase one, we're nearing the end. We, we began phase one in August of 2021. We're nearing the end right now. It's scheduled for completion this month. And... Uh, there are four elements, four key elements to the uh, uh, to phase one that we're working on. One is the mechanical engineering. Uh, mechanical means engineering for things that move, uh, and specifically for her head, neck, and her tail. We need to re-engineer those for all the reasons I cited earlier. Secondly, electrical engineering. Um, uh, included in the electrical engineering is the microcontroller. So think computer, just like your smartphone or maybe your laptop computer or desktop computer has a, a, micro, a microcontroller inside it, so she does as well. Um, also working on sensors, including her command recognition. Let me show that off for you. Jenny, want a treat? Yeah, so she needs to be able to understand commands. Um, she needs to be able to feel how and where she's being touched. And she, her power systems need to be able to power her all day uh, on a single charge under typical use without being too big a battery or creating too much heat or, uh, or conversely underpowering her so that, so that she needs to be recharged almost immediately. Third element is the fur. So how to get the fur uh, structured and applied in such a way that it can be done over and over and over again with very little variation from one robot to the next. And then the, the other major activity for phase one is our manufacturing strategy. We get a lot of questions about where these will be manufactured. We still do not know. Um, there are a number of criteria that we're using, uh, uh, but all of them uh, are around quality. In order for us to be successful as a company, customers have to literally love our robots. And so the, the requirements for our, our contract manufacturing partner are that they'll be able to manufacture our design at the highest quality and be able to do that repeatedly. And so we've been working on that. 
Um, overall, phase one has gone very well. Um, electrical engineering, or EE for short, has done some great work and produced some innovative ways to, to achieve high performance functionality. ME, or mechanical engineering, has gone well too. We're likely to run a few weeks longer, though, to do some additional work. Um, the mechanical design, design is the highest risk element that's still open, uh, particularly for the neck designs. Uh, we want to make sure that these are all settled before we move forward with our alpha phase two, which is going to be alpha robots, because that's going to be applied. We're going to be making robots out of the designs that we uh, determine through phase one. We also uh, uh, decided to give EE a little bit of extra work here to get some uh, head start on some of the microcontroller work that we know that we'll be doing as part of phase two. Uh, so even though that, that could have been pushed over to phase two, we wanted to accelerate that work uh, and get started on that today. So that's it for the, the uh, uh, engineering updates. We'll give you another update here next month as we complete phase one and move into phase two. Uh, for major investors, major investors are anyone who has invested $5,000 or more we are having our next semi-annual, being every six months, uh, investor call and Q&A on October 28th. Those of you who have already qualified would have already received an invitation, but those of you who haven't yet, there is still time. If you've uh, invested a smaller amount of money, you can combine that with an additional investment to make it to $5,000, and we'll be happy to give you uh, an invitation. We just ask that you do that prior to October 27th, so we have time to get you that invitation. As always, thank you so much for your support. And thank you, uh, and, and please help us bring our puppies to those desperately in need. I'm Tom Stevens, be well.